Hi, welcome back to Roadmap to Your Success. Donna Parsons here. And today we're going to focus in on the Windows tools a great PC technician uses. So let's begin. And we want to get ourselves to the control panel. So you want to right click your mouse on your start button and you want to come up to control panel or you can do your search and type in control panel. However you get there is fine, just get yourselves to control panel. Now, as PC technicians, we need to um, use what's called the classic view when it comes to the control panel. It's a lot easier and it's in alphabetical order, so I'm gonna show you how to do that real quick. So you're gonna come up to the upper right-hand corner and you're gonna come and you're gonna left click on the word category and when you come down to large icons, it's gonna change your entire control panel so that it's a lot easier to find and troubleshoot something as quickly as possible. And this is called Classic View and it's in alphabetical order. So one of the things I taught you in the last lesson was the Action Center. And what is the Action Center? And you need to know that the Action Center displays a flag to notify you if there's any software or hardware updates within uh, the Windows maintenance settings. So sometimes if there's spyware, sometimes if there's issues with your computer, the Action Center is going to give you that notification that you may have an issue within your computer. So you really need to understand the Action Center. And that's in my last lesson 2B. So if you haven't viewed it, I suggest you take a look at it. Device Manager is the next thing that you need to know within the control panel. And Device Manager um, gives you all of the hardware and software settings to operate within a Windows environment. Now, what does that mean, a device? A device is anything that's connected to or inside your computer. Your mouse is a device, your keyboard is a device, your motherboard is a device, a printer attached to your computer is a device. So this is gonna help you troubleshoot some of the things within Windows if you have a hardware or software problem and something's not working quite right. So you really need to understand Device Manager. And my next lesson will have troubleshooting a Bluetooth device within Device Manager, and I suggest you check it out. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and close Device Manager. The next thing that we need to take a look at is something called Display. And Display gives you a little bit of information about how to manage your appearance of your computer screen. For example, if it's not bright enough or if it's too, the icons are too small or too large. So these are things within display. You could also adjust it if you wanted it to two monitors, for example, or maybe project it to a uh, projection screen or a TV. So these are the things within the display settings that you need to understand as a PC tech. So I'm going to go back out of here and go back to my control panel. The next thing that you need to check out is something called keyboard. And you say to yourself, well, you know, what can I learn about a keyboard? Well, keyboard gives you um, the repeat delay. So if you have somebody that is a fast typist, a fast typist, uh, this will matter. So you can actually adjust the settings. So if they're a slow typist or a fast typist, it will help them to uh, their cursor to keep up. So it's a great place to come. The next thing on in here is called mouse. And the mouse settings, believe it or not, are huge when you have a new user especially. So this will actually control how fast or how slow they're clicking the mouse. So if they're trying to learn how to double click a mouse and it's set to be very fast here, Goodness gracious, sometimes it makes a huge difference if you can adjust this for them. Um, they think you're a magician at that point. So I highly suggest, you know, understanding or kind of understanding mouse properties within control panel. Um, believe it or not, I've had a lot of people that have thanked me because I've showed them how to use that. The next thing that you want to come down to is your sound. Sound is um, your device within your computer, which would be your speaker and your microphone settings and making sure that if your sound's not working, this is the place that you're gonna come to troubleshoot whether or not your speakers are working or your microphone is not working. So I highly suggest this, you know, understanding the sound and the sound properties within um, control panel. I'm gonna have lessons on every one of these icon applets, but I'm just giving you an overview of what a technician needs to know about Windows and the control panel is a great place to start. 
let's go ahead and close out of here. The last thing that I suggest you really learn, and I'm going to show you a little bit more about it, is system and why you need to understand system. So people ask me all the time, gee, what kind of computer I have? What version of Windows? Do I have enough RAM? Do I have enough hard drive space? You know, what, what do, do I have or what don't I have? So system is a great place for a PC tech to show the user what kind of computer that you have, what kind of RAM you have, what kind of operating system you have. So showing the user and system and properties is a great place to be as a technician. So I highly recommend, you know, taking a look at control panel. And I'm going to have lessons on a, every individual applet that I've showed you here today. But this was just an overview of how to get yourself to control panel. I hope you like this lesson. If you like what I have to say, please subscribe and thank you for your time.